Hello, family. This is Refueling Your Faith, and today's faith nugget is ministry is everywhere. Ministry is everywhere. When we realize or when we have the create correct foundation for what our relationship with Christ means for us as we uh, live in this world, then we'll see ministry everywhere. And many of us, especially in America, believe that our calling or God's uh, goal for us is that we would reach the American dream, that we would have all the prosperity that we want, that we will have uh, be married, have two kids and have a white picket fence, that we would be popular, that we would be wealthy, that we would um, be thin, that we would be all of these things that America or the world would think our goal should be. When we die, we want to have check, check, check these variety of things. But the reality is Jesus gave us our mission uh, when he was resurrected from the grave and he was on his way back to the Father. And our mission in this life, when we accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, our mission is Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the age, end of the age. Our goal is to make disciples. Our mission in whatever place we find ourselves in is to make disciples. Now, we may get the benefit of meeting what the world's um, standards or the world's dream is, the American dream, to have all of those things. Indeed, we can get married. Indeed, we can have children. Indeed, we can um, have our nice home with a white picket fence. But that is not our focus because God may ask us to forego one of those um coveted dream so that we all so that we could be about our ultimate dream which is to go and make disciples and that is not just make people who say that they believe but make people who are actually following after the kingdom principles who are loving others who are forgiving others who are submitting to others who are um just being about our father's business that is our goal as believers and when we get that foundation right then we can see ministry everywhere. It doesn't have to be limited to what our church is doing. And in fact, our churches are doing wonderful things, reaching people for Christ. And it, when we come together as a body of people within a local church to accomplish something, it's so much more impactful than what I would do on my own. But God has uniquely designed each and every one of us to do ministry. And it doesn't just happen on Sunday mornings or Wednesday when we have our programming at church. But it's because I am the church, the church is the body of Christ. The church is our individual selves being about the mission of God. Then wherever I find myself and among whoever I find myself, God may be wanting me to do something, to do ministry that draws people closer to him. When I get my foundation correct, when I'm not distracted by the American dream, whatever that may be, then I can see ministry everywhere. It often becomes not a coincidence, right? As I'm learning this in my own life, I in my prayer time, I'm realizing, hey, there's no coincidence that I live where I live. It's no coincidence that I'm in the family that I'm in. There's no coincidence that um, I have the job that I have, the jobs that I have. It's, it's just no coincidence. Lord, help me to see how you want to draw someone closer to you by using me, whatever that may look like. Uh, so oftentimes when I'm when you're reading the Gospels, you see Jesus and he taught in the synagogues. He, st he taught within the church uh, the principles of, uh, of Christianity. But you saw him on his way to Galilee, on his way to Capernaum, on his way to these various places. He did ministry. He healed the sick. He... Uh, taught. He did so many things on his way. God showed, revealed that to me. While he was going, he encountered the lame man. While he was traveling, he saw the blind man. And in the same way, while we're going about doing this big thing 
or we're going on our way to church to do ministry. Let's realize ministry is anywhere that people are, anywhere. And so my challenge for you today is to consider why does God have you on the job that he has you on? You have that annoying coworker. Is there a reason why they keep annoying you? Is God calling you to uh, think about how creatively you can draw that person closer to Christ or encourage them uh, on their walk with God? Why does God have you in that family? Oftentimes I think about those uh, especially when you hear reports of someone who has uh, done a crime against someone or this, that, and the other. You wonder, was a family member, was, did a family member who was a Christian reach out to that person to help them to see God and to begin to adopt principles? Now, that doesn't mean that just because you reached out, they accepted it. But I just wonder, all these churches and all these people who attend every Sunday, what family member are you supposed to be reaching out to? Amen. What friend? Many of us have friendships and we just go shopping or we go do these things. But ha is there an opportunity to have a spiritual conversation to help them on their walk? If we really believe that Jesus is coming back, if we really believe that there is a heaven and a hell, we need to be about the business of going and making disciples. When Christ comes back, he's only coming back for the church, for those who have put their faith in Christ. Um, and anyone else who has not, then their judgment is to be in hell, an eternal hell that is uncomfortable, that is um, just horrible. Um, if we really believe that, and we say we do when we have accepted Jesus Christ, you can't just say, I'm going to go to heaven, and but I don't believe it for anything else. If you've accepted Jesus Christ, then you're also acknowledging that Christ is coming back and that we have a work to do while on this earth. Don't take your relationships for granted. Don't think that God has placed you in certain areas just because he wants to make you happy. Your mission is to go and make disciples. And so my prayer today, because I see a world that is dying and it will die, but everybody doesn't have to go to hell in a handbasket, right? Because if we who call ourselves Christians are about our mission, then we can be about encouraging folks to live in a way that honors God, to accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior. So my prayer to do today, my faith nugget, ministry is everywhere, is that indeed you would see ministry everywhere, that indeed you would celebrate how God made you and the way that he wants you to interact with others, to be a part of drawing people closer to you, and that you would be obedient in the ways that he gives you to uh, to draw people closer to Christ. As my prayer time has been expanded after realizing the ministry is everywhere, man, God has told me to gift people books. God has told me to send text messages to people. God has had me have hard conversations with people just to encourage them in their walk. Uh, he continues to give it to me. I don't. I, my life is so much more full because I have realized that ministry is everywhere, and I'm not. I'm trying not to take for granted why he has placed me among the people that he has placed me among. And so, in the same way, I want that to be your same experience that you don't take for granted that you are here and God has ministry for you. Um, not even outside the walls of the church. It's important for you to be a part of a church and it's important for you to uh, join alliances with those other believers around you to make even greater impact in your city and in your state. But you individually in the places that you go, you have ministry to do and God has something for you to do to help those in your circle or they call it your sphere of influence to draw them closer to him. And so that is my encouragement for you today that you would set aside time today or this week to pray about why you are placed in the places that he's God has placed you. He wants to use you. You are about you should be about or we are about as Christians making disciples, making followers of Christ in all of the earth. I hope this has been an encouragement to you today. Uh, see you next Wednesday where we'll uh, have another faith nugget. I encourage you to like and share this post so that others can grow and be encouraged in their walk. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.